Skywatch Media News for the final week of January 2022. When the Hunga Tonga Hape volcano erupted on January the 15th, the force of the eruption sent shockwaves across the world. It is now considered to be the biggest eruption to take place on this planet in the past 30 years. Volcanologists have indicated that the Tongan volcano is capable of producing a massive explosion roughly every 1,000 years, which is akin to a weapons-grade chemical explosion. The volcano, which has erupted several times in recent years, is part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, home to some of the world's most active volcanoes. At the time of the eruption, a giant shockwave observed by satellite imagery spread out in all directions. The wave was followed by sonic booms heard across the Pacific and as far as Alaska, nearly 5,600 miles from the epicenter. On the day of the eruption, residents of Alaska report being woken up between 5 and 6.45 p.m. to a loud rumbling. Scientists believe that the sonic boom was the loudest sound on Earth to happen since the 1883 eruption of Krakatoa in Indonesia, which was estimated to be a deafening 235 decibels in the epicenter. The shockwave resulted in a noticeable jump in atmospheric pressure from observation points across the globe followed by a sharp decline as the shockwave passed by. Data collected on January the 16th by Calypso shows toxic material from the eruption rising to an altitude of 19 miles, with some ash and gas possibly reaching as high as 25 miles. This places the material well within the upper atmosphere. Other calculations based on weather satellite data indicated that the plume reached higher altitudes, reaching nearly 35 miles above the Earth's surface. This would place the material at the boundary between the stratosphere and the mesosphere, which would be on precedented altitudes for a volcanic plume. Early data suggests the Tonga event could have measured as high as 5 on the Volcanic Explosivity Index, with a measured radius of 161 miles. The imagery from the satellite defines the extent of the ash plume, as well as multiple rippling gravity waves extending outwards at the speed of sound. The Tonga Blast is being classified as the most powerful eruption since Penitoba in 1991, which was classified as a 6 on a scale of 8. This is significant because the Penitoba eruption in the Philippines dropped the Earth's average global temperature by half a degree for nearly two years, and it did so by injecting 15 million tons of sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere. The toxic gas combined with water to make a haze of tiny droplets that reflected incoming solar radiation. Pinatoba had an absolute effect on global temperatures, as the volcanic aerosols clouded the upper atmosphere with millions of tons of sulfur dioxide. In contrast, the Hunga Tonga volcanic emissions were 30 times less at about half a million tons of SO2. So a cooling effect is not expected from the recent eruption, although its potential effect on global temperatures cannot be ruled out. Even so, it is expected to create havoc with the environment, not just in Tonga, but across the planet. A huge plume of sulfur dioxide was visible spreading over Australia on January the 18th some 4,350 miles west of the eruption. On January 19th, the plume was seen crossing over the Indian Ocean on a westerly track. The Hunga Tonga eruption ejected enough SO2 into the atmosphere to produce spectacular and vivid purple sunsets from Australia to Europe. The purple light produced by the aerosols appeared 26 minutes after sunset. 
a prime indicator of how powerful the Tonga eruption was, can be measured in the height reached by its plume, which according to data from three weather satellites, was seen as an umbrella at a height of 21 miles, although a small portion of the cloud was visible from a height of 34 miles, reaching halfway into space. As a comparison, the atmospheric boundary between our atmosphere and outer space, referred to as the Kármán line, is located at a height of 62 miles. Space Agency scientists have calculated the explosive force as being equivalent to 10 megatons of TNT, which is 500 times as powerful as the nuclear bomb dropped on Hiroshima at the end of World War II. With this explosion, the hot magma encountered the cold seawater, allowing for an instant escalation of steam, which supercharged the eruption. So what is known thus far is that the Tonga volcano hurled some 400 million kilograms of sulfur dioxide into the upper atmosphere, reaching altitudes never before seen by NASA's fleet of Earth-orbiting satellites. The huge cloud of aerosols passed over the continent of Australia, and it is now spreading around the world through the stratosphere. Volcanic aerosols scatter blue light, which if mixed with a red sunset, produces a purple hue. If you witness purple sunsets in the near future, then it could be a sign that the aerosols have reached you. On January 21st, a video capture from Churchill, Tennessee, shows a cloudy sky turning purple, which could be a result of the light phenomenon. Another indicator of the phenomenon would be the yellow twilight arc and the long purple rays. These would be additional signs of a Tonga sunset. So when the sun sinks below the horizon, take a look at the fading sky. If the twilight turns purple, you may have spotted the incoming aerosols of the Tonga eruption. Here are scenes of the intense eruption that caused the atmosphere to ring like a bell.
as you look to the sky, know that the stars will always bring forth their brightness. If we are not blinded by the erosion of our emotions, or hampered by our lack of interest and awareness. Stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching, and always keep looking to the sky.